Um, welcome to an exciting update about Zeus Blueprints node based coding IDE. Here is the updated UI, and I have improved a couple of things. First of all, I have added a quick preview where we can plug in nodes quickly close it and we can add a node by right clicking and adding a container the container is actually or technically a div so you can just add as much containers as you need let's quickly open the preview I have added a quick switch when you turn this switch on it will automatically start previewing right inside the preview window so let's turn it on and here you go and quickly turn off and the preview preview will be disconnected and we have a quick preview component you can just add to preview in the individual component you need to connect this preview node to component and it will start previewing and to disconnect you need to press alt and option on Mac to disconnect so I need to create a style mode and the style mode is actually the CSS for your component if I connect this to container and turn it on and we need to add well I'm thinking if we can just quickly create a chat box a web chat box just like a f uh, just like Facebook so quickly add a width and width should be something like 300 and let's add a height and height let's use a 500 for now and if I add a background color we have our chat box right here so quickly close it and we have a nice toggle button you can switch between full screen preview and to keep it small let's change its color to a more like grayish and close it now we need to add another container right inside our main container and right click add a container and this container is below this one you can see right inside the tree view or hierarchy view so we need to select the parent container and add one more container and we will use it as the sandbox let's create one more style node and one more style node here we go and for the style node we need to connect and let's add width and height and background color which should be 300 and for the height let's use 50 for now and this is actually our header 
and then we need sorry let me quickly reopen it and now we need to change the background color to something like dark gray and after that we need to add width height and background color and once again use width of 300 and height to 40 or maybe 50 and 40 for the header there we go and for the background color uh, let's add more darkish gray and close it there we go now we have a one box for chat wrapper and we, one box is for header and one is for the sandbox great now we need one more box and let's select the parent container and add one more container and keep it between the header and the sandbox here we go this is header this is body and this is sandbox let's move this style box and rearrange it and connect it to this one here we go now we need to change our parent container display to flex here we go and the flex direction should be column now for the chat list box let's add one more style and connect and this one let's add a flex and change it to one here we go now if we quickly preview it now we have a nice chat box and for our chat list let's quickly add a background color and change it to something like a different color so that we can differentiate between or we know the boundaries of our boxes so you can see how quick we can just create all these nodes to build the UI and we can add variables just add new variable and let's call it username and we can have we can change its data type and we can just drag and drop and just quickly connect it with any of the target pins so here is the quick overview of our update if I quickly reload it we have cleared our canvas now open preview and we can close it we have collapsible components sections styles variables and we can create functions I will add functions update in the next video but you can add a container and in that container you you can add a text field if you expand the container we have this text field and now if we open the preview and trigger the preview here we go we can now use this text field hello there I'll soon update it and upload it to its own domain so you can 
check it test it and give your feedback and help me improve this IDE